Keep that frequency clear. Don't touch that dial. Are we on the air? Yes, you are. Shush, 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 shush. With all the modern pace of today's exciting radio. Oh. Now, the struggle between good and evil goes on. Shush, 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 shush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my underground lair. Do not attempt to adjust your dial. I'm transmitting live with the hardcore style. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Shauna, 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 Shauna and, and for your further listening pleasure. Time to lay down some serious sound. Watch your bass spin, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you. Don't touch that diaphragm. <laughs> What's up? You're listening to Shauna and Lala. Check us out at shaunaandlala.com. On Facebook at facebook.com slash shaunaandlala. Check me out at facebook.com slash Marie. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at shaunaandlala and our YouTube channel, Shauna and Lala. And uh, it is our second part of our baby segment this week. And uh, before we get into all of that, um, the news has been really wild and crazy. We're going to share some segments or share some news with you uh, later on in the show besides our baby segment and uh, lots going on in Hollywood. And uh, this week was a little bit calmer for us. Not too much calmer, but a little calmer. Yeah. No ER visits this week for me. So <laughs> She's feeling better, so that's feeling great. Better. Yes. Uh, but still craziness. Uh, Gio, he graduated from kindergarten. I know. I was crying. I'm. So, it was just. It's depressing when you're a little baby. Now I feel like now he's growing up. First grade, and then before I know, it's gonna be high school. It, it goes by so fast. Yeah, I, I can't believe you cried. Though. I. It's. It's just sad. You know, he's kindergarten is kind of like. It's a little hard, but playtime you know so it's not that serious but first grade is like there i've heard there there's no playtime there's you know it's all work 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 oh, homework really? so he's not going to handle that well oh no no <laughs> he doesn't like school as it is he doesn't like school he doesn't like sitting still he's smart he's not he's very smart but he's very antsy so he's not uh, he's worried about it too he said to me "Ma, i don't want to go to first grade i said why he goes because first grade teachers are rude. I said, what do you mean they're rude? He goes, I hear them when I walk past the classrooms. or They're always yelling at kids. They're, oh, you know, first grade teachers are always yelling. They're rude. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> well, so, child, you're in for a rude yeah, awakening. Yeah, he's, he's in for it. So. There's no more, like, I don't know. They my be, kindergarten, we had nap time. So yeah. They don't do nap time, but they did have a bunch of free time throughout the day at different points so and no homework so now it's gonna go from zero to 100 so yeah. he's not gonna be happy no i'm gonna try this summer to i told him already what he wasn't happy about like every week we're gonna take out however many times a day or I mean, times a week to do some work to read to try and get him into that mode so we'll see but how he's good at reading he can read yeah he's good but it's just that he doesn't have interest in any of this stuff Oh, like he'd okay. rather play like that's what he says like i don't he can read but i want i'd rather play you know he could write but i'd rather play so he's young he's yeah. only five so we'll see well he did take a trip to the library to the public library oh, yes <laughs> and, and he uh, <laughs> he let everyone know how exactly how he felt about being there <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying out loud oh mom this is so boring why are we here this place is horrible Oh, it's so cluttered. And my son has some OCD, like it's his father and his grandparents. And <laughs> he, this library is from the 1800s. Oh, it's not even like an updated no, library? No, it's very old. It's very, like, small. There's so many books, so it's very congested. And my OCD son does not like that. He made it known that this place is horrible. Um, you need to redo it. Uh, like our school library where there's more room and things are cleaner and neater. That's what he said. To so, the librarian? He said it out loud. So he, you know, they heard him. The teacher heard him. They kind of chuckled. I'm like, sis, shut up. You know, sorry, my son's OCD. <laughs> He's like, mom, but this place is just, it just seems so dirty and small and dark. And uh, I'm like, oh my God, you're five years old. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would have been like, stop it. Oh yeah. He got a lot of like little flicks to the back of the ear. Like, shut up. 
Yeah, she would have taken me, like, to the side, like, in, like, one of the corners, you know. Yeah. She would have yelled at me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't have seen the light of day after that. No. But he did write a book, like, a little story. Yeah, he liked that. He got to write his own book there, so. But he likes writing, so. Mm-hmm. He's always telling us stories. Yeah. He, making up stories. He loves and that. He's a good storyteller. So maybe he'll do good in, like, English next year. I hope so. <laughs> Just no libraries for him. No library. No. no library trip this summer. No. I asked him, is it because they have all summer programs there. At the library? Yeah. So the librarian was telling the kids, come back. We have this. We have that. These programs and this. And they're like, yay. And she was like, I said, you want to go? No. I don't want to come back here, mom. I said, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, maybe some other kind of camp. We'll see. <laughs> What's going on around the world? Well, in Istanbul, Turkey, a 17-year-old is being hailed a hero after he caught a falling toddler. Now, this a little two-year-old was on the se- op- in, an, in an open second-floor window. Her mother was cooking. She didn't know her little daughter was sitting in this open window. And a, ma- a boy named Algerian Zabat, he's 17, was walking in the street, happened to look up and see her. And he ran from the street and was able to catch her without any injuries. So the incident took place in Istanbul, Turkey, and he is being hailed a hero, which that is amazing. The timing to catch her, and both of them not have injuries, that's awesome. He was just at the right place at the right time. Yeah, that little girl had a guardian angel. So thank you, Algerian, for saving her life. And this is pretty funny. Um, We all have these Siri and Alexa robots in our home and on our phone. Yes, Siri is always listening. Yeah, they're always listening, and I think that they're getting more and more like humans with their thought processes, <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. kind of scary. But this this man named Michael Slade, he was shocked when he asked his Amazon Echo Dot, he as he always did, he asked to play music, and he was very shocked at what she responded back to him. She called him a very rude name. And it was a day after he canceled his Prime subscription. So that kind of was a little fishy to me and him and a few other people. Like, So he had called the day before, canceled his Prime subscription with someone through Amazon. Yeah. Customer service. The next day, he asked Alexa, hey, can you play some music, Alexa? And she said, sure. Here's your playlist, Sheethead. And she really said the real world. I just can't say that on there. Yeah. Sheethead. Sorry, something went wrong. That's how she would end it. So he asked again, just, okay, did I hear that right? And again, she repeated, sure, here's your playlist, Sheethead, on Amazon Music. Sorry, something went wrong. (laughs) Although the voice assistant bleeped out the swear word, shocked, he was very shocked, and he, you know, he couldn't believe it. He called out Amazon and was like, what's going on, basically? Yeah. And technical support said they have no idea how this happened. They've never seen it before, and they, they just don't know how it could happen. So Amazon sent him a gift voucher to compensate him for dealing with this, but I personally think maybe it was the customer service rep. Maybe they got in a little, you know... Yeah. Argument or something, and he's like, ha-ha, you know what? I'll get him back and, and call put, him a like, sheethead. His, yeah, and put his name in. like Yeah, as sheethead. So I'm, I'm saying sheet. It's not really that, but <laughs> that I, is it's funny. funny, right? That's crazy. You uh, you never know these days with these yeah. smart tech. Who's hacking into them? Appliances. Yeah. yeah who's hacking them? And, and what are they Who's sending? listening? I mean, who really is listening? You know, you yeah. never know. Yeah. We all know who Guns N' Roses are. Yes. Um, the drummer, former drummer of Guns N' Roses, Stephen Adler, was rushed to the hospital this week after stabbing himself at his home. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, someone at Adler's L.A. home called 911 to report it, that someone had stabbed themselves. When the cops and paramedics arrived, they discovered that it was Adler who uh, had suffered the stab wound to his stomach. Um, you know, we do know that he, uh, he did struggle with drugs. We all know that. Uh And he was actually kicked out of Guns N' Roses. I didn't know this. Oh, man. Um, due to a drug addiction in 1990. But he was later inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, with the group in 2012. Uh So, uh, Adler was rushed to a local hospital 
with non-life-threatening injuries. No one else is suspected to have been involved in the incident. Um, obviously, with a drug addiction, you know, I don't know if he is still addicted to drugs, but that does play with your head a little. Yeah, you get depressed, you get yeah. withdrawals, you can't so, handle it, you don't think straight. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a suicide attempt, we don't know. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But, sad. No, it is sad. I don't know why you would want to kill yourself. Yeah, probably wasn't even thinking. He was. It probably wasn't even him in his right mind. Probably no. not. And that's uh, what's going on in Hollywood this week. It is time for our second part of our baby segment. Uh, last week, we went over a ton of products. And this week, we have some more to go over uh, as well. So, uh, first, we are starting off uh, again with the... Auto tip, the ear cleaner. Well, I love it. It's really cool. It is really cool. Little, fr- I was like a little freaked out at first, but it's really cool. Yeah, you were kind of grossed out. Yeah. <laughs> you get really grossed out with those things. I don't like the bodily of- fluid stuff and the nose and the ears and ugh. Even with having a baby? Well, I mean... He's with a child, bad, but- um, boogers still bother me with kids. Even my own child, I was I couldn't handle it. Earwax, I could deal with my son's earwax, but I can't deal with, like, your earwax or someone else's earwax. Um, pimples? Pimples, no, I don't like them. <laughs> Vomit, no. Poop, no. So, yeah, I really, I, it just really grosses me out, so. Um, but we tried it. I took it out. Uh, I did a little video with it. It's a soft rubber tip. You can, you, it has a button on it, it's battery operated, you press it, and this, this, the tip of it is shaped like a spiral, like, or like a honeycomb, the stick that you put honey in, that's what yeah. I kind of, it reminded me of that, like, when you, you see those sticks that you put in the honey, and you pull it out, it's kind of like that, it has, like, the swirl around it, and you, when you press the button, it spins slowly in a circular motion, and when you put that in your ear, you know, doctors don't want you using Q-tips, because when you use them, you're pushing earwax into your ear yes, and impacting like I did last it. Night, actually, you did. I did. I um, couldn't get the like inside inside with that thing. Yeah, with the auto tip. So I used the ear uh, Q tip. Yeah, and I think I pushed too far in. Oh no! And a piece. I think it was earwax or something went over the eardrum and I couldn't hear for like. Oh my god! And I'm like, okay, well now we're gonna have to like <laughs> yeah. figure out what to do. So I stuck another Q tip in there. Which, do not do this at home, I'm crazy. And I kind of just, like, dug at it, and I got yes, it out. Yes, that's not good. That's that's why you need to use the auto, auto tip, because it, it was going to protect your eardrum. You shouldn't use the regular Q-tips. I know, I just didn't know how far you could go in with it. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, now we're learning, and stop using Q-tips, guys. You need to get this. It, it's a must-have. We're going to we post up a video Check it out for your baby. They have they have tiny, tiny little heads you can use on your baby because there's reusable tips in there. Yeah. Um, all different sizes, and they're reusable because you can wash them. It's just like a rubber tip. You wash it, and it's good to go for the next time. So you're saving money. Q-tips are expensive. They are. They expensive. do add up, and this you can use it constantly. Just wash it and change the batteries, and there you go. So definitely highly recommend that for you mamas out there that you can't use Q-tips for your baby's little ears or yourself. Not good. Yeah, use Q-tips. I mean, instead of for your ears, use them for makeup removing. Yes. Yep. (laughs) There's an idea. And our next product that we have is the Clear Rinse Nasal Cleaning System by Braun. Um, I love it. I have allergies, and... um, I get, what is it called, Um, sinus infections Uh, uh all the time. So I don't like the neti pot because it hurts. This is totally different. And I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm going to film it tonight, actually. So what you do is you just pour some saline solution, and it comes with it, by the way, um, into this uh, system. And you just hold it up to your nose, push the button, and it squirts saline up your nose then what you're going to do is push the button down and it's going to suck everything out of your nose lala your face feels like you throw up <laughs> i'm getting so grossed out <laughs> but no 
being a mom with an infant, when, when my son was an infant, the, no, the nose is like the hardest thing to deal with with a baby. They can't blow their nose. So they need help. And they usually, I had those, the, the nasal bulb. bulb. Yes. And the one the hospital gave me was awesome. It sucked out, had good suction. My dog chewed, chewed it. And then I had to buy one from a store and they were never the same. They don't, the ones they sell in the store are horrible. And the babies hate it. This is a very gentle system. When I, I watched the video on it, I read up about this, and I can see how, why this would be much better than sticking this hard plastic thing up your child's nose, sucking it out. This is going to be a very gentle cleansing rinse of saline, which is good for your nose, and it's yes. going to clean everything out and then suck it out. So I think that's great. Um, and when I am pregnant again, it's definitely on my baby list. Well, and you could use it, too. It's for adults yes. as well as children. Yep. Um, your whole family could use it. I mean, you could even try mine. Yeah. Because you do wash it afterwards. Yeah, so. you clean it out. For, yeah. For I, I'm assuming you could clean it with alcohol. Yeah, disinfect it. And it comes yeah. with... Th- you can buy more saline capsules. This comes with 10 of them. And it comes with an extra wash head. So if you don't have time to clean that out... There's another one you can use while the other one's cleaning. And this is also rechargeable, which is great. Um, you, it comes with a base that's plugged in, and you stick this handheld system ha- device in your hand. You stick it into the base, and it recharges. So you don't have to worry about getting new batteries or plugging it into the wall and stretching it to reach your child. So, And they say this is doctor-recommended, so doctors approve of this, which is great. Mm-hmm. I think doctors approve of anything Braun Yeah, Braun uh, is a makes, great brand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, our next product that we have is the Hanes Flex Fit Baby Clothes. Now, you saw um, the bib on my little baby cousin, who was, I think, two weeks old at the time that we were filming. Uh, so you saw the cute little bib that they have, um, that they we gave her. Um, but we also gave her some of the Flex Fit clothes, and they fit anywhere from, like, newborn to three months yeah. and they flex fit hello you know they stretch um as the baby grows so it's yep. perfect for newborns and for infants you don't have to get rid of the clothes you know because yeah. babies are growing every day they so. change and sometimes they're in between sizes yeah that's the hard part my son was he was very skinny and he was very long so he was too long for some of the smaller stuff but too skinny for you know the bigger stuff so flex fit helps with that it kind of just flexes with the baby's size it grows with them you know and you don't have to kind of finagle clothing on them or go up or go down a size and it doesn't fit somewhere else so that i i love the idea i wish they had they mean maybe they had it when i was a kid i mean when my son was a, a baby but i love it i think all moms should look into this brand and they had cute cute clothes all the little they were adorable they were really cute i i we took a picture of it we'll put po- i think we posted up or we're going to but we did already um yep. we did so check out how cute those clothes are we had ones for a little girl because her cousin's a little girl and they were pink and grays and whites and all these really cute designs on it so love i love the designs yeah they were like very modern and just yeah. super cute uh, and the, our next product, which is my favorite, is the EB, and you may have seen the commercial on TV, um, definitely probably saw it on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, what it is, is a storage unit for your photos. It is uh, run by Bluetooth, and it's a cloud service for your photos and videos. Now, I don't have a baby, but, you know, I do take a lot of photos and tons of videos of my cats. Um, <laughs> those are her babies. <laughs> yes, those are my babies. And it's super cool because you could just... its It works by Bluetooth. You know, you plug the cloud system in to a actual plug um, in the wall. And then you just hook it up to your Bluetooth. And the importing, or I should say, the exporting of your photos onto the EV... Um, just happens automatically and it stores all your photos now the really cool part about it is you could use it from your computer or your cell phone take the photos off the computer put them on there um you know you could make albums so like i was telling lala for your son's birthday um or for his kindergarten graduation you can make an album 
kindergarten graduation, sent it to other family members, and if they came to his graduation and took their own photos, they could also upload their photos and that add they it took to that album and add it to the album. Cool. It's so cool. Um, but you, <laughs> who always runs out of storage, I take a million. Like I mean, I know Sean takes a lot, but. I think I take the cake with taking pictures and videos on my phone and You're I, always out of storage. I run out of storage like crazy and then I have to load them onto my computer and sometimes I forget I don't have the time to do it. So the, Sean is telling me that this is just like automatic, right? Yeah. Because it's Bluetooth, it just does it on its own. Yeah, I mean you have I to need be that. in Yeah, certain within reach certain range. With it. But still. It's that's yeah, that's amazing. You could use your phone, um, you know, while it's uploading. That is amazing. It is it is really cool. You're you're gonna love it. Absolutely, yeah. you're gonna love it. And it's two terabyte too. Wow. So I should be good. <laughs> yeah, you should be good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are going to post up the link for it, um, and it's available at uh, meeb.com, and that is IBI, and uh, I believe Amazon sells it as well. So we will post up the links. Uh, on our website and on our YouTube page um, as to where you could get it. It's definitely a must-have for people who, you know, have a baby, a newborn, uh, summer vacations, yeah, graduations. You know it's the problem must have. I'm seeing with a lot of people is that they have, the iPhones now have more space than ever. Yes. You're uploading, like how many photos did you say you had in your phone? I don't know, like 4,000. 4,000? Like so some people have over 4,000. And if you lose your phone and you don't have them on iCloud or ups or something that you don't have to pay for, yeah, those photos are gone. They're gone. They're gone. So this is cool. Whereas whenever you're near it, and you you can have it uploading without having to touch anything, without having to press buttons and plug things in through Bluetooth, all your pictures are saved. Boom. You so you have them there where they're accessible anywhere when you yeah. go on that website, right? Yeah. So you can be you can be across the country and be like, oh. Remember those pictures from my grandma's birthday party, but I deleted them off my phone already, and you can log in and you could see the pictures, yeah. right? So that's you amazing. You don't even have to log in on a computer. You could go to the, use the app. Oh, the app. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right, there you go. And you could uh, use like certain tags like birthday cake or, you know, to, cake. To find it better. To find specific pictures that you want. I love it. Awesome. I, I really, I can, absolutely now I'm love really it. excited. Yeah, I can't stop talking about it. I've been telling like, everybody about it. <laughs> awesome. I'm like, did you see that commercial yet? Oh my god, this product, it's amazing. It's, it, and it is. No, we, it, it looks it. it. And from what you're saying, I definitely got to get on that and get my phone empty now. Yes, you do. And that is our show for this week. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Jonna and Lala. You could check me out at facebook.com slash the Lala Marie. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Shauna and Lala and our YouTube page at Shauna and Lala. Coming up next week, we are beginning to start our summer segment. We have so much already to talk about. Um, summer is our favorite season and uh, school is out and that means vacations and beach trips. Yes. That out- is what summer is all about. Yep. Sun and the beach. <laughs> Barbecues and food and fun out in the sun. Yes. So these products are going to be really cool to talk about and to show you guys. We can't wait. And uh, we will see you next week.